Hello, hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So I asked you on Instagram if you guys wanted me to do a pregnancy Q&A and what questions you wanted answered. And a lot of people sent in a lot of questions, so that's what we're doing today. So the question that I think that I got the most, like a lot, I'll pop them up on the screen, um, was if the baby was planned or if it was a happy accident. Um, and it was definitely a happy accident. We were planning on having kids after we moved into a house, which we're hoping to do at like the beginning of this next year. Um, so the timing was only like a little bit off, um, but yeah, God's timing is, is better than our timing. So we're doing it now. <laughs> we're both so thrilled. It's terrifying, but we're thrilled. Another question that I got asked a lot was about cravings and food aversions. Um, and I've definitely had some food aversions. Um, the biggest one has been like sweet coffee drinks. Oh, I'm getting booped by a bunny. Hello. <laughs> Poppy wanted to say hi, apparently. That sounds disgusting to me, which is so sad because normally I like like lattes and stuff, but apparently not right now. I feel like it's been more of a general like I just haven't wanted to eat in the morning and everything kind of sounds gross rather than like a specific thing where I'm like, well, the thought of that's gonna make me puke. As far as cravings go, in the beginning of my pregnancy, I was definitely craving salty. Um, lots of salty foods and like sharp foods like feta cheese and like salt and vinegar chips and stuff like that that has like kind of a, a kick or a bite to it. And I like really was not into sweets at all, which is so weird because I have a, such a sweet tooth normally. So that's been kind of odd. But I think now as I'm getting towards the end of my first trimester, I think my first trimester ends in about a week. Um, I feel like my palate is like a little bit more normal and I'm enjoying sweet things again. Still don't want coffee sad. Somebody asked, how all are you documenting it? So we've filmed pretty much everything. By now you guys have seen the pregnancy announcement, the video of me actually taking the test and finding out and telling Matt. Um, and we also have footage for telling all of our friends and family. Um, so I don't know if that video will be out by the time that you see this, but it will be coming out at some point. And then we're also doing like the weekly bump pictures. There's really not much to see right now, but we're doing it anyway. The app we're using is called Cinemama, I think. And then I also have, actually I'll go get it. So I got this, which is the first time mom's pregnancy journal. I literally got this the day after we found out. <laughs> um, and when I was vlogging for the getaway house trip that we took, um, I had to keep like hiding it because I kept forgetting it was there and would give it away. So I would be vlogging and then I'd be like, shoot, I have to redo all of that because the journal's in the background. Um, but this has just been like a way to kind of document what's going on in my body and my brain right now because it's a lot. Somebody also asked what pregnancy books I've been enjoying. Um, the one that I have been loving the most is called Like a Mother. Um, it's a feminist journey through the culture through the science and culture of motherhood, I think is um, what it is. And I uh, listened to this author talk about her book on Ingrid Nielsen's podcast, One Step. And I really, really like the book. It's very like mom forward. Um, and some of the stuff is like a little radical, but overall I think it's really educational. Um, and it reminds me that I'm still a person too and that my needs and wants are still important. Um, cause I feel like when you get pregnant, all of a sudden, just like everything is about the baby, which is great. And I'm, you know, so happy to do that. But also I want to be my own person still too. So I feel like that's been really helpful. Uh, somebody also asked the due date. Our due date is June 25th, 2020. What am I most nervous or most excited about? Um, I love babies. So I'm most excited for just like baby snuggles and cute little outfits. Um, and being a parent is something I've always known that I wanted to do. So I'm just really excited to live out that dream. But I am also terrified. I'm going to be 24 when the baby is born, which feels so young to me. Um, and I guess the biggest thing that I'm nervous about is just that like I won't be able to be my own person anymore um, and that we won't like get to travel um, or spend time with friends because we'll be so busy. But I know when the time comes, it's like we're just going to love the baby so much that we're probably not going to want to do a bunch of other crazy stuff. But yeah, that's something that really freaks me out. Another one that I got was, am I planning on filming a makeover video for the nursery room? And absolutely, I'm going to do that. Um, I already have like the nursery theme picked out. So we're going to do like a neutral California coastal kind of a thing. Um, so a lot of like pumpus grass and earth tones and like driftwood kind of a deal. Um, 
but it'll also be in our new house you know god willing if we find you know the right house at the right time we should be moving in march then the baby's due in june so there will be a lot of home makeover videos coming your way so i hope you guys are ready for that i also got asked how did it happen i want details i think i'm gonna have to save that one for me and matt <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one did you have a feeling you were pregnant before finding out if so, how early? I figured it out like the week before I found out. So I found out really late, like relatively. I was six weeks exactly on the day that I took the test. Um, and that's because my period is super long usually. So it's usually like five weeks, like minimum. So the fact that my period was like late was like not a tip off for me at all. Um, but my boobs got really sore. Um, and I was having some weird like cramping, which I later found out was like the baby attaching to like the uterine lining, which is crazy. Um, and it was like two nights before and I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, my body doesn't normally behave this way. I wonder like is something different here. And I kind of just pushed it out of my mind. And then the next night I was laying in bed and I was like, dude, I think I'm pregnant. Like I just, I just had this moment of just like, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I went out the next morning and I took the test and sure enough, I was right. But I did find out really late. What food combo are you most scared that you may get pregnancy cravings for? So I'm like generally kind of an adventurous eater. Like I'll try pretty much anything. Um, so it doesn't scare me that like I'll get cravings for a food that I don't like or a food that I think is gross. But what freaks me out is when, and this has already happened, I get cravings for foods that I can't have. Like sushi. Sushi. Or like, you know, when we're out for brunch or whatever and it's like, oh, I want a mimosa and you can't have one. It's not super fun, <laughs> but usually I'm able to direct myself to something else. I guess something I should have mentioned with the like cravings, food aversions question is I think the biggest thing for me with cravings is like power of suggestion. So if I'm watching a video and like somebody's eating green beans or whatever, like I have to have green beans. Or if I'm on Pinterest and I see a recipe for something that looks good, like it gets lodged in my brain and then I need whatever that food is. Um, somebody also asked, are you going to find out the gender or are you going to leave it as a surprise? Um, we actually already found out the gender. I did the sneak peek clinical blood test, um, at nine weeks. So we know already gender reveal coming probably not that soon, but kind of soon. Leave your guesses down below. I had to know. I had to be able to pick a name and like start shopping for clothes and all that stuff. But all the things I shop for are very gender neutral just because that's kind of like my style as far as like the nursery and the clothing and all that stuff. So you guys probably wouldn't even be able to tell <laughs> if you saw the stuff that I bought. Will you share some of your baby name ideas? Yes, I definitely will. Um, I'm planning on filming a baby names I love but won't be using video um, because I have long lists of names. And I don't know, I just think baby names are so fun. I've had like a baby name book since I was like, probably 10 and I would just go through it for fun. So I'm like really into it and I've got a bunch of names that I really love and obviously I can't use them all. So that video will be coming fairly soon. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sending in all of your questions on Instagram. If you don't follow me already, I'll leave my handle down below so that you don't miss the next like Q and A prompt. Let me know also if you guys are down with like all the pregnancy videos or if you want my channel to have like a pregnancy video and then a non-pregnancy video and then a pregnancy video and then a non-pregnancy video so that there's a little bit of variety. Let me know what you guys prefer. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.